Are they going after the wrong person? An employee for a Walnut Creek assisted living center is facing charges of felony elder abuse. The senior care center initially claimed a 94 year old man died after eating spicy Cheetos. But prosecutors believe that man died after drinking a cleaning solution left out by employees. So who's to blame here? Here's NBC Bay Area's Jody Hernandez. 54-year-old Letitia Cherise Starling appeared in court for the first time today to answer to elder abuse charges. Prosecutors say Starling's negligence at Atria Walnut Creek last August led to the death of 94-year-old Constantine Canoon, a dementia patient known to wander. Ms. Starling was the only caregiver on the floor um, and opened the dining room doors and left them open um, with some food, including some very spicy Cheetos. Knox says Starling left the dining room and when she returned, found the senior starting to vomit. She took him into the kitchen and asked him what he drank and he pointed out um, a caustic cleaning solution that was there. Um, they it's kept unsecured in the kitchen. The autopsy report confirmed Kanoon's death was indeed the result of ingestion of liquid cleaning agent. But despite the evidence, the attorney for the victim's family says prosecutors are going after the wrong person. My reaction is that the DA went um, after the low hanging fruit when it should have gone after the tree. Attorney Catherine Stebner says Atria Senior Living is the real culprit. The people who work in these facilities are also victims as well. They're victims of not having enough people and they're using this woman as a scapegoat. Atria, who until this week insisted the death was food related, has released a statement saying, we take any case of resident injury or death seriously. We have taken appropriate steps in response to this incident, including reviewing and reinforcing our training and policies on chemical safety. The attorney representing the victim's family doesn't buy it. I feel terrible that this woman is sitting in this, you know, in detention when frankly it should be the people who are making the money off of this and making these decisions that led her to that place. They should be sitting in that detention room, not her. Knox says the state attorney general may be the one to look at charging the company. Days after Canoon's poisoning, three other dementia residents at Atria Senior Living in San Mateo were poisoned. The company admitted staff there accidentally served cleaning solution, mistaking it for fruit juice. Two residents died from the poisoning. <laughs> Meanwhile, Starling's friends and family declined to comment today. The hearing was continued until next week to give her family time to hire a private attorney. In Martinez, Jody Hernandez, NBC Bay Area News.